When you see someone dancing, you are really seeing anatomy in action. My name is Chisa Hidaka. I'm Barnard class of 1986, and I'm an adjunct lecturer in the biology and dance departments. I teach human anatomy and movement, as well as human anatomy laboratory. It's a little bit unique lab in the sense that there are STEM students and dance students in my class. And this class is really intended to bring home the fact that dance is a complex cognition. And so when dancers are dancing, they are embodying all of this anatomical information. As a dance major, I think that knowing kind of the inner workings of the body, understanding the names of the joints and the muscles has really brought a new self-awareness to movement that I didn't have before taking this class. We focus on the musculoskeletal anatomy. So we cover the bones and the muscles and we learn it sort of in the normal didactic way. And we also do palpation. We feel on each other what the structures are like. I personally like to learn hands-on. I think it's a really great tool for learning to just see things and touch things instead of just memorizing different bones and muscles in the body. Professor Hidaka talks a lot about how important it is to have like your movements like manipulated for you sometimes, like how beneficial that is to the joints. And that's not something you get as a dance performer. You're always in control of your body. So I think what this class has taught me in terms of movement is letting go and kind of feeling all of the articulations of the muscles kind of being manipulated for you and kind of viewing them externally for, for once. I really like to teach to try to bring those two aspects together, the creativity and the expressivity, along with the scientific information. In Anatomy Lab, one of the things we did was to paint the skeleton on unitards. And this is a very important aspect of my class because this gave students the opportunity not just to name all the bones and know what they are, but where they are in our bodies. I do think that this class makes science more accessible to people. And so it's really nice to be able to collaborate with everyone and just learn from each other how we can move and understand the body. I do think it's a little bit vulnerable to do this kind of thing where you're moving in front of people or with people, where you're putting your hands on another person. And I really do try to make it a safe environment to do that, where they can feel confident and where they can feel supported.